This is my neighbour, Peter Whitehead. He is 88 years old. He has taken his car off the road for the last four months to save money on road tax. He's not been shopping on his own, only with me. But today we went to Lidl's with masks on. Lidl's is in Barry in the Vale of Glamorgan in South Wales. I have been trying to encourage him to get back out and enjoy life again, meeting friends and especially meeting those from church. It was a big part of his life before lockdown. He wants to see a doctor because he has some concerns in relation to skin cancer and other medical conditions, but he was told to send photos to the doctor because they would not see him. Yes, uh, I arranged to have the, the photographs sent along to you for you to examine and then let me know just what might need. Luckily, I've been able to help him with taking the photos of these medical concerns and emailing them to the local surgery. However, he would not have been able to do this on his own. His daughter, Rachel, had COVID-19. She's a nurse at the Heath Hospital in Cardiff. She is still suffering from the condition. So I talked to him about his view of the virus. I've been able to share some of the new media content with him. He does have terrestrial TV, but he does not have access to YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. So I asked him, what is his view of what's going on? What was it like going to the shops and how did you feel wearing a mask? Were you, did you feel more comfortable wearing a mask? Well, yes, it was better to do so. And do you mind other people not wearing a mask? Well, given what we're told, I would just simply steer clear of them. Um, I think it's the young people that don't seem to care as much. When I've been walking outside, uh, any joggers, they don't seem to bother at all. Do you think it's because they know that they, from the government statistics, they're low risk, but you are more higher risk, aren't you? Yes, and I, I don't think they appreciate that I am higher risk and sometimes, most times, I've had to step aside. But there are others who step aside on occasions, but uh, those are the joggers. Wouldn't it have made a lot more sense to do sort of what Sweden d had d done, where the under 50s who were low risk of, of dying could have got the virus, built up herd immunity and protected people like you this winter? That could have happened, couldn't it? Yes, well, we, we did refer to the fact that um, we did have a herd community at one time and it seemed to be working and then it was for some reason withdrawn. When was that? When do you remember, what do you remember about that herd immunity? Well, I just remember that uh, it was Boris Johnson that introduced it and said they were going to take that as the best scientific advice at the time. But the things are that since then, so many confusing and different opinions are being sounded out with some really not giving any thought in depth to how they're confusing everybody, including people like myself. Do you feel confused? Well, I, I'm lacking any defin definitive, clear advice because of the conflicting messages that seem to be emanating from the media, particularly, well, BBC, Sky, and uh, because they operate a major influence of the population, I think they themselves, more than even the government, are responsible for making people confused. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is to allow those who are willing to give the evidence and stand by it rather than turning a blind eye to things that they don't feel fits in with their own philosophical worldview. That's the problem. And I, sh I sh shared that video with you. Um, what did you make of that? Because I'll share that with everyone else. What did you make of that video? Because you wouldn't have seen that on the BBC, would you, or ITV or Sky? That was the one from USA, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, what did you think of that? How well, did that change your point of view? Some of the things I say might be a little bit different from what you hear in, in uh, the news media. So you may want references. Some people watch... Well, it, 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 it confirmed my own feelings, really, because he spoke, as I said to you before, with both clarity 
and what he said was definitive. It didn't leave any questioning or doubt in people's minds because he gave the evidence and in any scientific research, as he rightly said, science is never conclusive. It's always an ongoing search for the truth. And insofar as he gave the evidence, he was filling what should be done in scientific research that let us follow where the evidence is leading us. And so it, what's, your, what's your experience as a scientist? Who, you know, what... Well, I'm not a scientist myself. I've got you know, qualifications to master's degree, but I, I have given a lot of talks on scientific aspects of things. And uh, from what is being given out, I don't think people like myself are aware of what we are being called are the scientific evidence, because it seems to conflict from one place to another and from one time to another. So somebody is either not telling the truth or is avoiding facing people with the reality of the situation so that they can follow advice that is something that they can believe is the case. And meanwhile, we suffer, don't we, because we're confused. So you think there's scientists that do know the truth, but they're, they're holding back? Yes, I found this to be true in many, many other things. I know some geneticists who have done research and they found lots of certain things. And uh, a, a colleague of mine, he asked him the question, he said, well, you know, have you made that public? He said, no, he says, it's like the elephant in the, in the room. It's walking about, it smells like an elephant, it makes sounds like an elephant, everything about it is like an elephant, and yet we have to say that the elephant doesn't exist. And he says, it's the same with our research. People turn a blind eye to the evidence if it doesn't seem suit their way of thinking. Well, no one wants to be embarrassed or, you know, it's so much about, oh, shall I do this or shan't I do this? Shall I do what's expected of me, what's socially accepted of me? Or shall I make a difference if I believe something to be true? I think whatever, we've always got to look for the truth, believe the truth, and stand for the truth, whether it fits in with what we like or we don't like. Otherwise, we're, and in the end, not only deceiving other people, but deceiving ourselves, which I feel a lot of people at a higher level of, uh, you know, scientific research are doing just now in regard to the coronavirus, the COVID-19 virus. Brees Media is a channel that wants to hear from you. Please share your thoughts and feelings on what is happening right now. This is the number that you can contact us on and we will share your videos to the channel. It doesn't matter what you think or what you say. We are very happy to publish that. Thank you for watching.